So what am I going to moan about today? I'm going to moan about Lauren Koscielny and his behaviour and the way he has carried on to get his move out of Arsenal. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. Now, it looks like he is finally going. Arsenal and Bordeaux have uh, come to an agreement. It works out around about 5 million euros and good riddance nine years of service and this is how you want to be remembered the way you've carried on you were supposed to be the captain of the club and you have done nothing but act like a spoiled petulant little child the club that's always stuck by you all over here is oh but Koscielny could have gone to all these big clubs listen he's not as big a player as you think he will never be on the levels at Arsenal, as Patrick Vieira, Tony Adams, great captains. Absolutely no chance. Thanks for the mistake in the League Cup final against Birmingham. Thanks for kicking the ball in your face in the Europa League semi-final against Fletico Madrid and letting Griezmann go through. The way this guy has carried on. And you're getting your move. And you know what? Fair play to Arsenal for standing firm. Fair play to Arsenal for not letting a player walk all over them. Because if this was under the old regime, he'd have probably been given a golden handshake and allowed to leave for free. We're getting money for him. He's 33 years old, he's injury prone, and he's completely past his sell-by date. Go back to France, go and enjoy the last few years at Bordeaux. You will never, ever be in the thoughts of Arsenal fans again. So that's what I'm going to moan about today. Lauren Koscielny, good riddance. So what is going on in the world of football? Of course, the big transfer yesterday was the confirmation of Harry Maguire to Manchester United. Around about £85 million. They got themselves a good defender there and it's an area that they have been having a lot of problems. I do think it's too much. But that doesn't take away from the fact that they've got their man and they've got their self a proven Premier League defender um, and a good defender at that. So fair play to Manchester United because um, they've got that deal over the line. Of course, we don't know whether the likes of Dybala and that's actually going to come true. And they might only get one out of their three targets. Is that enough for Manchester United? I don't think it is. I think they're still short in midfield. Um, and we don't know whether Lukaku is actually going to go to Inter Milan or not. But we will wait and see. We've got about three days to go. Um, Cole Jenkinson looks like he's finally on his way out of Arsenal. Advanced talks with Nottingham Forest. Finally, we may well be getting rid of him. <sighs> Feels like he's been at the club forever. The final piece of that British core. Looks like he is on his way out. Um, sticking with Arsenal. News breaking yesterday. Um, in their search for a central defender. And that is we are putting a bid in for Dayat Upper Meccano. And I'll tell you something, if we get him, I will be probably more buzzing than the signing of Pepe. Um, if you go back to my videos from around about four or five months ago, i done one on Dayat Upper Meccano. I love this guy. He's an absolute monster. And he would be an unbelievable signing. They're talking around about 70 odd million euros. Where are we getting this money from? Can we pay in installments? <laughs> Can we uh, give you some players as well? I don't know. It seems too little, too late um, when we've only got about three days to go. And I'll tell you something, if Raul Sanelli pulls this one out of the bag, I'll be buzzing. And of course, there still is interest in Kieran Tierney. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And uh, no doubt over the next couple of days, 48 hours, 72 hours, things are going to really start to hot up. So we will wait and see. Next time on Blood Brothers. You remember everything, the feeling, you remember the sounds, the smells. It's all pretty painful. What got him through it? Football. Um, okay, so we're going to start a football team. We'll do anything we can to support, you know. What are you talking about? I'm part of the team. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Wait, I'm I'm